Hi everyone, welcome to part 2 of the puff pastry series. Today I want to share with you a savory recipe, vegetable and mushroom puffs. So here I have my roll uh, which has been thawing in the refrigerator for about a day and we're just gonna kind of take it out of the cover and unroll it. Now this recipe, it's really anything you want to make of it. I just want to show you what are the different possibilities. So for my vegetable hash uh, itself, I'm just using some mushroom, potatoes and bell pepper. And you just mix it up, saute it, mix it up and kind of make it into a thick consistency. So you don't want any much water. And then I also added some cheese to it for extra flavor. I mean, that's really, really going to have it um, make that difference in this puff pastry. So now that I have my roll here, I'm just going to unroll it. And we are going to start from there. Okay, so as you can see, I've rolled this out over here. And really, you can, you can try and make triangles. You can make uh, squares. You can make rectangles. Whatever works. So what I'm going to do over here is just kind of pull this a little bit and make it slightly bigger. And then score them and make my cuts. So I used my rolling pin uh, to just kind of make this maybe half an inch bigger. Uh, and that's it. And so what I'm going to do is make, I have my pizza cutter. And so I'm going to make about uh, some big squares. So I'm going to go two this way and two this way. And that would give us nine. So let me do that. And then uh, I'll show you how to make square ones. I'll show you how to make triangle ones. Okay, so there you go. Not perfect now. If you're trying to make all of them the same size, then by all means make sure that your ones look equal this big one i'm going to turn it into a triangle and the other ones as i take each one i'm going to make it a little bit larger put my filling in and close it over okay so i want to show you how i do this center one of mine okay so in here i'm going to put a little bit of my filling now you want to make sure that this filling is not too um too wet because you don't want this to become like a wet soggy mess so uh, just kind of making sure to press it down and that's why when you add potatoes and stuff it generally is dry if if, um, if you feel like the veggies are gonna get some water out then make sure to stir fry them over your pan or something to get all the water content out so in here I'm gonna now pick this piece up and move it over to make a triangle so as you see, I pulled that piece over, I got one of the other ones out of the way and just line up those edges nicely because as you're picking this up, it's going to tend to pull a little bit, which is fine, but still like just make sure it doesn't tear. Uh, and then once you have this, just press on those edges nicely with your finger so they stick. And what you do next is just use your fork to make these kind of indentations that also seals it as well as gives it a nice look. So I'm gonna continue to do that over here and then I'll do the rest in different shapes. Okay, so here I've made one that just folding over. I took a piece, put some filling in and folded it over. Here I took two pieces, made them the same size and then put filling on one and covered it with the second one. So again, same deal. Just different shapes you can cut this in half and serve uh, and then some of these other ones I'm gonna do more triangles squares and rectangles now if you don't want these kind of curved edges perfectly fine I totally understand so I'm gonna cut these out a little bit on the edges over here just to make it more even looking yeah uh, and that way you don't have to worry about being like having a messy looking uh, vegetable puff. So I've laid out some of the ones that I have. I had this big long one here. And so all you're going to do is put some egg wash. So again, add some egg wash to these. Brush them so they become nice and golden brown. If you want to add for these savory ones, sprinkle some Parmesan cheese on top. That would be really yummy as well. Making sure to even get these 
uh, fork ridges that we created. And so now I'm just going to score these. So as you can see, I scored these just so that, you know, they don't, don't puff up too much. I just want to make like a score ever so slightly. And just, you know, having this kind of different shapes. I know we can make everything uniform, but that would be so boring. So I just try to make these different sizes and shapes. Uh, also because like I have a kid, uh, it's just yummy for them as well to kind of uh, see different shapes and sizes in here. You can also score different things. So that's, that's what it is. I'm going to put this in the oven as well, heating. Uh, my oven is heating at 400 degrees. So I'm going to put it in there for 10 to 12 minutes and then I will show you what it looks like. Everybody, so after 12 to 14 minutes in the oven, all my vegetable puffs came out. They look so beautiful. They have a nice golden brown color. My, you can see because of the scoring, they didn't really all puff up too much, which is what you want. Now, if you open these up, this looks so cute, like a little pillow. <laughs> um, yeah, so you can either just cut them and serve um, or you can just like eat these uh, just like this. These are great to take on the go as well. As you can see, this is basically just like a pocket. So hope you enjoyed this recipe. Please comment below uh, if you have any questions and see you in another video.